Hi everyone, I'm Shaylin here with Reedsy. Today I'm going to be talking about literary genres and specifically doing a breakdown of the different literary genres. The purpose of this video is to help you learn how to classify your book in its category, genre, and subgenres so that you can market it correctly, find the right target audience, uh, make the right publishing decisions, maybe even inform some of your writing decisions. Genre is essentially just a way of directing readers to books that they will most enjoy. It's a form of classification that exists to pair the right reader with the right book. It doesn't need to be a limiting factor. If you feel limited by the genre that your book is in, then you might want to look into seeing if there's a different genre that better suits your book. Now there are also, of course, non-fiction genres, but in this video I'm only going to be focusing on fiction genres. Let's start by talking about categories. This is the age category that your book is written for. A middle grade fantasy book is going to be very, very different from an adult fantasy book. So let's start with adult. Adult fiction is written for readers 18 years or older. Adult fiction doesn't need any kind of explicit content to make it adult fiction. Um, it's not really like a film writing in that way, where um, film writings are kind of dictated by the content. Categories in books allow you to have certain content, but it's not a requirement. So in adult fiction, there isn't really any kind of limitation on what content you can have. As well, unlike in children's categories, which I'll cover in a second, age isn't really a factor for the protagonist. Your protagonist can basically be whatever age you like, although typically it's going to be an adult character. But we actually do see quite a lot of adult books with teen or child protagonists. So next up is young adult. YA is written for the 12 to 18 year old age bracket. YA books usually feature themes that appeal to teenagers. So identity and understanding your place in the world, friendships, and first romantic relationships. When writing YA, there are limits on content, but it's actually more about how you write the content than what you include. You'll find YA books that include violence, sexual content, drugs, really almost anything. It's just written in a way that is appropriate for teenagers. It is important with YA to understand the message that you are portraying to your readers. In YA, you'll typically see protagonists between the age of 15 and 18, with teenage characters as the focused and the main cast. So not only will your protagonist be in that 15 to 18 age range, but the majority of the cast will be in that age range as well. YA is also typically very internal, very introspective with a lot of internal narrative. It's a very emotion heavy category with a lot of focus on self-reflection. If you do want to learn more about the YA category, we've got an entire video answering some commonly asked questions about YA. And finally, we have middle grade. So middle grade is written for the 8 to 12 year old age bracket. And as you'd expect, middle grade does have strong content restrictions, so there really shouldn't be any graphic or mature content whatsoever, although you can have some mild violence. Romance will be limited to kind of a character's first crush, but the content can be dark or scary, it just needs to do so in an age-appropriate way. Usually the protagonists and the main cast will be between the ages of 10 and 13, and middle grade is actually a lot more external than YA. YA is really internal, but middle grade actually you won't get a lot of internal narrative. It's much more focused on what the character perceives. The characters are more reactive to the story, where in YA they're more reflective. Now before we get into specific genres, there is another distinction to make, and that is the difference between genre or commercial versus literary fiction. Now again, this is a distinction that often upsets people, but it is like all genre classifications, just there to help the right reader find the right book. So literary fiction is character-driven fiction where the book's style or artistic quality has higher priority than the book's readability or entertainment value. Things like idea, theme, or social commentary are typically important. In genre fiction, which we'll talk about in a minute, the book's writing style is basically meant to be invisible. It's not really something the reader consciously notices in most cases, but in literary fiction, it's meant to be part of the reading experience and is something that the reader is meant to notice and probably appreciate. Now, if you are writing literary fiction, know that literary fiction does have subgenres, um, but they're much more broad and the classification is all much looser. Within genre fiction, you get these really concrete, solid genres like horror, sci-fi, fantasy, everything I'll talk about in a second, all the genres that you're probably familiar with. Literary fiction does have subclassifications, but they're, they're really general. So you will see books that are literary fiction say tagged as being magical realism or coming of age. In literary fiction, you'll typically see um, the subgenres based on the book's 
theme and you won't really see any separation in how they're shelved in a bookstore. Literary fiction will just go under kind of the general fiction tab. So if you are writing literary fiction, you don't have to worry about this as much, but it is still worth knowing any potential subgenres your book falls under. On the other hand, we have genre fiction. So genre fiction is basically just a book that does fit into a specific literary genre. Genre fiction can definitely be character driven. In the past, this distinction was often drawn as genre fiction being plot driven and literary fiction being character driven, but this really isn't true. You'll see really, really character driven genre fiction. Really the difference is that just even though it's character driven, there is more of an emphasis on plot and um, the focus on the book being a enjoyable, readable, satisfying story is really there. It's more important to have readable characters and adherence to specific genre conventions. Style is of course important, but it's not something the reader wants to be distracted by. And it's also worth noting that there are a lot of books in the middle. You could have a book that has genre tropes, but it's also really formally experimental. Or a book that is in a genre, but it doesn't really adhere to its conventions. Or you could have a literary book that's like set in the future and pulls in some genre elements. There's a lot of gray area between the two, and if your book does fall in that gray area, it's possible that you want to market it as upmarket fiction, or you kind of just want to use your best discretion and ask yourself where the target audience is. If my book is kind of like a literary fantasy book, will it appeal more to literary readers or will it appeal more to fantasy readers? So all of that said, now let's talk about the different literary genres and what defines each of them, but it is important to remember that books can be a blend of multiple genres. Um, you'll hear it said a lot that a book is a fantasy horror or a sci-fi fantasy or a fantasy romance adventure, you know? Genres is something that we often, genre labels are something we often smush together to create the right one for our book. So your book doesn't need to just neatly fall under one of these, but one thing you want to think about is kind of what your book's primary genre is. Basically, if I walked into a bookstore and I wanted to find my book, which shelf would I go to? If my book is a fantasy horror book, would I go to the horror section or would I go to the fantasy section? And are the people in the fantasy section my target audience or are the people in the horror section my target audience? So let's start with mystery. Mystery novels follow a crime or conspiracy being solved from start to finish. Clues and information are revealed slowly and the reader gets to play a role in solving the mystery alongside the protagonist. Mystery novels usually start with a hook and will have a satisfying conclusion that answers all or most of the novel's questions. If you are writing in mystery, some of the subgenres you might encounter are cozy mystery, noir, police procedural, spy or espionage, legal or medical, and amateur sleuth. Next up is thriller. Thrillers and mysteries are often confused with each other, but they do have distinct differences even though they probably will overlap greatly in terms of tone and maybe even readership. Thrillers are books that have a suspenseful, twisting plotline and usually a dark, suspenseful tone. They often implement things like plot twists, red herrings, or cliffhangers and have high stakes and feature high intensity situations. A good way to think about thriller is if it was a movie, it would be probably considered an action movie. Um, it's kind of the literary equivalent of an action movie in a lot of cases. So a couple subgenres that you might encounter in the thriller genre, action thrillers, crime thrillers, psychological thrillers, conspiracy thrillers, medical thrillers, and legal thrillers. So now onto another genre that is again often conflated with thriller and is very closely interlinked and that's horror. Just like how mysteries and thrillers often overlap, so do horror and thriller, and they are related, but they're not the same. So horror is meant to scare, startle, or maybe even disgust the reader. It kind of relies more on this like instinctual, um, visceral reaction. Usually the protagonist is heavily antagonized by a lot of antagonistic forces, which could be supernatural or paranormal, or it could just be a very frightening, bloody, intense, realistic situation, such as in a uh, slasher. Like thrillers, they're very high stakes, but in a thriller the stakes usually come from wondering if the character will achieve their very high stakes mission or goal in time. Usually in a horror the stakes come from wondering if the protagonist will survive. So some subgenres include paranormal, gothic horror, body horror, slasher, survival, and occult. Now let's talk about historical fiction. Historical fiction is fiction that is set in the past and is meant to transport the reader to another time or place. 
They're usually very richly detailed and carefully researched and can involve reference to real people or real historical events or maybe even integrate those things into the plot line. Usually the historical setting is more than just a backdrop, it's a very core element of the story and the reading experience. Historical doesn't really have as many subgenres, typically the subgenre is just the time period that it's set in. So if you're writing a book that's Victorian, the subgenre would just be Victorian. But some other subgenres that you might see are things like fictional biography, historical mystery, historical romance, family saga, and alternate history, although it's important to know that family sagas don't have to be historical. Then we have fantasy. Fantasy novels are speculative books that feature magical elements either in an alternate magical world or a magical subset of our own world. Probably one of the most distinctive genres, it's pretty hard to miss if something is fantasy. And it also probably has the most subgenres of any genre. There are so many fantasy subgenres, so if you want to learn more about fantasy, we've got an entire video on fantasy subgenres that I'll leave for you to check out. But some of the more popular ones that you might encounter are genres like high fantasy, urban fantasy, dark fantasy, flintlock fantasy, political fantasy, and mythic fantasy. Then we have sci-fi. Sci-fi is, I would say, adjacent to fantasy. So sci-fi stories are speculative stories with imagined elements that don't exist in our contemporary world, just like in fantasy. But the difference is that the imagined elements are explained by science rather than explained by magic. Typically, this is paired with a futuristic setting that could include things like space travel, other planets, aliens, or advanced Earth society. There are a lot of really cool sci-fi subgenres such as cyberpunk, space opera, post-apocalyptic, hard science fiction, near future, military, sci-fi, time travel, steampunk, and pulp, and many more. Just like fantasy, there are a lot of different sci-fi subgenres, um, so if you're writing sci-fi, it's definitely worth reading up on the different subgenres because there's some really, really cool ones. Next up is dystopian. Now, dystopian and science fiction often overlap. The Venn diagram of sci-fi and dystopian is almost a circle. And in the past, dystopian probably would have just been considered a subgenre of sci-fi, but it's risen in popularity so much that it's kind of become its own genre. So dystopian genre is fiction set in a society that is worse than the one we live in. If the society is futuristic or involves technology, then it's probably also science fiction, but they're not necessarily the same. You could even have, say, a fantasy book that's dystopian. So a couple subgenres for dystopian that you might encounter are zombies, post-apocalyptic survival, government control, and environmental destruction. It's not the cheeriest genre. So on the complete flip side, we have romance, also probably one of the most well-known, well-established genres. A romance novel just follows a love story typically with a light-hearted, emotionally satisfying conclusion. Romance books, of course, still have conflict. All stories need conflict, but the conflict might be more light-hearted as the focus is on the developing romantic relationship. Of course, books in almost any genre can feature a romantic relationship. The difference is that in the romance genre, it's the focus and typically the relationship prevails in the end. Usually if a romantic, if a romance doesn't have a happy ending, say one of the characters dies or they don't end up together, it's typically not considered a romance novel. It's considered, the genre we'll talk about in a second, contemporary. So a couple subgenres are contemporary romance, historical romance, romantic suspense, erotic romance, and paranormal romance. You might notice a lot of recurring genres from genres we've already seen. That's because this is a genre that you see really commonly paired with other settings. Finally, we have realistic or contemporary. This is kind of the most <laughs> vague of all the genres. Basically, realistic or contemporary fiction is fiction set in the real world, present day or near to present day about realistic events that could actually happen. The goal is to follow realistic scenarios and characters and try to depict those situations truthfully. There aren't really distinct subgenres to this category. So you might find elements of romance, you might find elements of thriller, um, contemporary, doesn't just mean that the book is set in the contemporary time, it also means that it's focusing on people's realistic lives and trying to view situations from a realistic viewpoint. Like I said at the beginning, a book doesn't just need to be one genre. It's okay if your book blends genres or fits into multiple genre categories. What's important is that you know how to market it and that you're able to identify your target audience. I would recommend to start by identifying your book's age category and then your book's broader genre. So of all the genres I just covered, which one does it fall under? And then research subgenres in that genre. 
to find the best genre label for your book. There are way, way more subgenres than I had time to cover in this video, but I hope that this gives you kind of a clear starting point. So that's all for this video. Let me know what your favorite genre to write is in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos from us. We've got new writing, editing, and publishing tips every Tuesday and Friday. Until next time.